All right, so you're probably wondering about multiplying positives and negatives. And often we wonder about this because we ask our question, what is a negative times a negative and why in the heck would it even make any sense to get the answer that you get? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some pretty easy patterning because that's the best way to do this. We're gonna start with a positive times a positive. Um, and uh, as we start with a positive times a positive, we're gonna work down to um, bringing in some negatives. So let's start with a, just a basic pattern. That's how I like to do these. I'm gonna say, okay, well, I've got a positive four times a positive three. And we know that answer is 12. And then I go f positive four times two, that answer is eight. And we have four times one, that answer is four. And what you'll notice is these numbers are decreasing in value. Hopefully you're seeing that. Um, and what are they approaching? They're, well, they're approaching uh, to zero, just about. So if I do four times zero, uh, we get, Zero. So what we've done here is we've done positive times positive. And you'll notice that all of these numbers right here are in fact positive. So nice and easy. You've been doing this for a long time. You'll notice that we have a positive times a positive. And that is going to give us a positive. But let's continue the pattern. This is going to be the really important part. Let's keep with the fours. I'm gonna do four times negative one. And notice what has now happened. We've gone from having a positive number right here and we've worked our way down to where we are now talking about negative numbers. So over here, what we're actually working on is the fact that we have positives times negatives. And how we're gonna do that is we're just gonna follow this pattern down. Well, four times three was 12, four times two is eight, four times one is four, four times zero is zero. We've decreased by four every single time. So if we keep following that pattern, what is four times negative one? It is negative four. We just keep decreasing. Okay. And let's keep going. Four times negative two. We're going to continue to decrease down. So that'll bring us to negative eight. And then we do four times negative three. Well, what does that bring us to? That brings us to negative 12. Okay. So what we've just generated is the idea that if we have a positive times a negative, the positive four times these negative numbers that we're seeing here, we're going to end up with a negative. So I'm going to write that over here. That's our next rule uh, that we can follow based off of the pattern is that a positive times a negative equals to a negative. Okay, so now we've got to get to the we got to get to the real answer here. We've got to go ahead and say, well, what happens if we have a negative times a negative? Well, what is going to happen there? Well, let's use one of our patterns that we have, or one of the rules that we've already generated, and we'll come up with that. So let's do this in red. I'm going to go ahead and say, um, let's do a negative three times four. Well, what is negative three times four? Well, we already figured out negative four, uh, uh, negative three times four is actually negative 12. We have a negative times a positive that gives us a negative 12. Well, what if I did negative three times three? Well, negative three times three is gonna be what? Negative nine right? Negative times a positive is negative. And we keep the pattern going. Negative three times two is negative six. Negative three times one is negative three. And negative three times zero is, well, zero. Well, what has happened as we've gone in this direction? We are no longer decreasing. We're actually increasing. So we are increasing. And as we increase, we are approaching zero. You can see it right there. So we are getting ready to jump over zero. Okay, we're gonna jump over zero. And when we jump over zero, we're gonna be now going into the negative. So negative three, watch this. Um, we're jumping over zero. We're gonna be going towards the positives here, but watch what happens. Four, three, two, one, zero, what's next in line? 
negative three times negative one. Okay, so negative three times negative one, look at what's happened, we've increased to zero, and negative three times negative one is positive three, because we're just following the pattern. And negative three times negative two is positive six, because we're following the pattern. And negative three times negative three is gonna be positive nine. And that is all because we are following that pattern. So the question is, as we multiply these positive, uh, these negatives, negative times a negative, so negative times a negative will give us positive answers just because we've been able to prove that following patterns. So those are, those are your three main things you got to pay attention to when multiplying positive and negatives. Positive times a positive is a positive. Positive times a negative is a negative. And negative times a negative is a positive. All right, I hope those patterns helped you out understand exactly how to multiply when there's all sorts of different signs out there.